Um, I've just been working on the robot bones a little bit each day. Just hollowing out some bones. I don't know, I guess I'm just a little greedy to get some more progress on the robot than I had been the past couple months. So, yeah, I'm kind of going in hard on that, and it's... I don't know. I think I'll keep doing it. Um, yeah, House MD, that's what I'm going to be watching. I'm going to keep chipping away at the bones little by little. Um, outside of Robot Day. This is not Robot Day. Just because I like cutting them in half and removing the clay. It's just a fun, brainless thing. and That way, when it comes to Robot Day, I can focus more on like fiberglassing and just applying the epoxy and have the ventilation stuff all set up but this is just like simple stuff I don't need all the setup I don't need my vacuum table nothing like that um so I'm just kind of getting like cheating a little bit getting a little head start so the next robot day I can just pound out all the fiberglassing of all these rib cage bones in like a huge fiberglass crazy session and yeah I'm, I'm just looking forward to getting the next big chunk of spine and rib cage added on to, the, to my torso and when I add on this big group it's going to be almost like halfway point of the torso so that's exciting because I mean my sis my techniques are getting so fast and so good that we're just flying and yeah who knows maybe maybe in um five or six months we'll have the torso done and and then from there on we are going to start implementing some 3d printing tactics into our workflow it's still going to be fiberglass bones but i'm going to 3d print the bones and fiberglass the 3d prints and that will save all the clay scraping anything to do with clay will be gone so i won't i won't be dealing with clay anymore which will be a little sad but um it's it is faster and i do have access to a 3d printer now i own one and i know how to use it so um yeah, that's going to be a definite shift in the way things are done, but I think it it will cut down like 30% maybe of the time spent per bone. Maybe even more, maybe 40%, who knows. Um So yeah, that that will speed me through the final stretch of the spine and skull and get me working on the legs and the last arm. And before you know it, the bones will all be done. Uh, actually, before... I shouldn't say the legs. I want to still stick to the idea of having Adam build his own legs. I think that is something to really make sure I do. Because there's nothing could be cooler than a robot that builds his own legs. Um, I might give Adam his femur bones, which is the thigh bone. I might give him those just so that he has more balance. It's kind of hard to sit in a chair and have any type of like torso control or core strength to be able to lean over and stuff and have stability without a femur. So maybe I'll just make the femur, but then he has to make his own tibia and fibia and his own carpals or whatever, all the little toe bones, the arch, the heel, all that stuff. Um, he'll have to make all that himself and and attach them to his own body. And I think that's hilarious to make Adam, to give Adam's first job as a finished making Adam. That's it's just hilarious. It's like, Adam, I worked on you enough. It's time for you to take over. I I might... I was thinking about just attaching webcam, like two webcams for stereoscopic vision with no skull. Just not having a face. Just his head consists of two cameras. That's pretty much all I really need um, for Adam to be able to get to work. So I consider that, but then it's like, Oh, but making the skull would be so cool. So I can't see myself doing that as a shortcut, a temporary shortcut. I mean, I'd eventually make the skull anyways, but no. Nah. Well, I mean, then again, if I did it that way, Adam could make his own skull, which would be pretty incredible. So maybe I should consider that. I mean, that would be a big shortcut. So we'll see. That might be something I would consider. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. So Adam needs a CPU so powerful with machine learning algorithms so good that he learns to make his own legs. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Adam's not going to learn to make his own legs at all. 
I'm going to specifically code every aspect of making his own legs. I'm going to code, hard code that in. So I'm teaching him. He's not learning it on his own. I'm not just going to say, you know what a leg is, Adam? Oh, you don't know what a leg is? Well, look it up. You need to make one. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be like making all the bones in 3D software myself, printing them out probably in PLA or possibly ABS plastic and then hand it to Adam and Adam goes through and applies epoxy to it and applies fiberglass cloth and then he keeps doing that until the whole thing's neatly fiberglassed and then Adam will sand it down and apply additional layers of epoxy until it has the right number of layers and he'll smooth everything out and then he will sew on the spandex cloth um, along with the double stick tape to attach that so that it will be ready to sew into the other legs and he'll do that as well he'll sew it in so and I'm going to show him everything step by step what he has to do yeah Adam will sew it on just like I've sewn on all these bones using um, a surgical suturing needle for pets and nylon upholstery thread and he'll be sewing the, the spandex, spandex cloth coverings of two different bones onto each other to create what Im amounts to artificial uh, ligaments. <laughs> See, that's the thing. Edward Scissorhands had these makeshift things created of scissors because the maker didn't... He wanted something in place for the time being, right? Um, and I see myself wanting to take the same shortcuts like that. Like, oh, I'm going to start off with scissors. I'll eventually upgrade it to the real thing. And I don't know. Like, there is that temptation. Like, oh, I just want the hands done. Let's put in scissors for now. I've even thought of that for the torso. Like, oh, I, I just want the torso done and this, these bones are taking too long. I'm just going to make the torso into a big metal cube for now. And I'll start mounting the electronics. But I keep disciplining myself not to do that because at the end of the day, that's just extra work. Just because you want to jump to step five rather than skip or go through step one, two, three, four. You just want to jump. And I'm just trying to force myself not to skip steps because I'm excited. Like, I chose not to build the electronics of the arm, even though I told you guys I would many times. Because I think it's better to build out the torso first, mount the main computer, and mount the video card, and create the power supply system, power the computer, create the microcontrollers connected by USB to the computer and forking out, branching out as an instructional tree to one another through serial communications protocol wires and attach that to the artificial lungs and the liquid cooling systems get all those systems working and tested and then I think I can work on the arm and get the arm all working so it's a order of operations I'm trying to take a logical methodical careful sequence of steps not going based on hype not going based on how much donations I think I can get if I get the fingers working or whatever and people get hyped about the project not letting any of those pressures or temptations get to me I'm just gonna carefully do all the boring stuff that needs to be done and not try to jump to hey guys look what I made that will come and the hype will all be there when I get there but I'm not going to try to rush to get more people hyped about the project. 
So anyways, uh, peace out guys. I had a good day.